Bears log number 897. You should probably be judgmental. What's up, everybody? So, I'm in here for another Bears rants about stuff. So, I got to thinking the other day. But when I got to thinking, I got to speaking. There was nobody there, but I was speaking. I'm crossing my legs now, so you know that I'm in a thinking pose, but you can't see it. Um, so, judgmental. Right? Everybody says that we should love everybody unconditionally. I, I just, I think a lot of us have it backwards. And I did too, so it's not like I'm just like, you're stupid. I'm stupid. Okay? Took me a while to hash some of this stuff out. And I'm only 30, so... Probably got some more hashing to do. It seems like we have it backwards from we should love everybody to we should be in love with everybody. Because when you're in love with a person, right? Like my wife with, with, with our child. Hopefully she won't watch this video. But anything that he does that's kind of like an asshole move, and I'm like, hey, stop being an asshole. She's like, don't call him and I can't believe you would. And all the mothers right now are saying the same thing at their screen. Hold on. But he was genuinely doing an asshole thing. But she is extremely in love with her child. She is in love with him. He, perfect. It's a dangerous place to be in. When we start, and, and I hear people saying that a lot too, and I'll get to that. My baby's perfect. You're perfect the way you are. No, you're not. Um, we're animals, right? Animals are made to survive. Your brain was structured a very particular way so that you could survive in the future, right? So, put your head back in the old, old tribal days, right? Going through the woods, you're hunting, you're doing whatever you're doing. Maybe you're just on a stroll. You're trying to find some mushrooms or berries or something, right? And you look into the distance and you see someone from a different tribe. And that someone from a different tribe is holding a bow and arrow and a war axe and they have war paint on and they have a, a mallet and a knife and are really having a hard time walking through the woods because they have all of this on them. But you see them and if you think, I love this person and they are perfect the way that they are. They're going to kill you. They're going to murder you. That person is coming to murder you, and you just fell in love with them. You thought, this person couldn't possibly be doing wrong because they're a human, and they're part of existence, and they're perfect. You're going to die. That's what's going to happen. So this non-judgmental, and I'm not going to go too far into it, but like with the whole, you know accepting everybody and just because you're obese and your heart is failing doesn't mean that you're unhealthy and like all of that stuff you're perfect the way that you are honey don't you worry it's hurting people people die people die because we refuse to be judgmental because somebody told us when we were kids that everybody's perfect the way that they are because your mother saw you like that and you believed her your mother was wrong people are not perfect and by telling When we love everybody, I think we should look at it more from the perspective of a child, right? You have a child and they come up to a stranger and they just love them so much. And they're so excited because it's a new person and they're like, hi, I went to the store today with my mom and it was so much fun and I got candy. And when I got the candy, I ate the candy, but I had to take the wrapper off before I ate the candy. And that person goes, hey. that kid's response is going to be like, why are you mean? Why are you a jerk? Why do you do that? Why are you... And they're going to like, they're going to have a negative response to this person because that person did a negative thing to them, right? That doesn't mean that that child doesn't still look at the stranger as like a beautiful new opportunity, but they probably got really judgmental. Maybe they got scared. Maybe they started crying. Maybe... Do you see that mentality? Like we, we are to love everything and we are taught to develop equanimity we, specifically Bond people, are taught to develop equanimity. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you're like nice to everything. 
that you're pleasant to everything. In times of, in times of war, you must act as a warrior. In, in the Bhagavad Gita, and that's, <laughs> I posted a meme about this the other day, but it's, there are a lot of, sorry for the term, love and lighters. There's a lot of people who are rainbows and unicorn farts that are like real love everybody. Hello, beautiful soul, how are you? And they're into the Hindu stuff, and they usually really like Ganesh and Hanuman and like maybe even Shiva or something, and or or Kali, and they're like, she's so Sasha, fierce. But they like they don't realize that like in the Bhagavad Gita, the point of the Bhagavad Gita was Krishna was telling Arjuna why it's okay to murder all these people, why why it's okay to go to battle, why why it is not only okay, but it was his duty to go and kill people. And some of those people were his family. They were cousins, brothers. They were people that he was intimately connected with. And it was his duty to fight them and to win. <sighs> we're real nice in the spiritual community, and I just don't think it's worth a lot. I don't think it's earnest. I don't think it's true. Which brings me to the perfect thing. And this is a 100% direct plagiarization from Jordan Peterson. If you don't like Jordan Peterson, you haven't listened to enough of him and you haven't digested his ideas. He's not a sexist. He's not a racist. Just listen, okay? And he was a clinical psychologist, um, specifically in child psychology for years and years and years and years and years and years. Um, and he talked about how as he does these speeches around the country, people's favorite thing when they come to see him is that he tells them they're useless, they're probably kind of stupid, and they're probably pretty lazy. He's not saying that to berate them. He's saying it as factual. As you know to yourself, when you go and you say, I'm doing my practice every single day. I'm going to meditate every single day. Two days and you miss a day. Every fourth day you miss a day. You meditate three, four, five times a week, and you're like, I am on a roll, baby. You meditate three, four times a week, and you think you're, you're like some kind of hero. No, man. No, you're just kind of lazy. You're just, you're not determined enough. You're not smart enough to know you feel better when you do this. It's, <laughs> you know you're not perfect. And when people continuously tell you that you're perfect, feels uncomfortable. It doesn't feel right. Now put your head in the mind of a teenager. Life is very confusing. Life is, there are people that make fun of you. There are girls won't date you or boys won't date you or, and it's all just a jumbled mess and you can't figure any of it out. And then somebody comes to you and says, no, you're perfect, honey. Don't you worry about it. No, 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 I'm not. No, mm -mm. no, I'm not. No, they're making fun of me. The girl that I like won't date me and I'm failing all my classes. Clearly, I'm not perfect. So when we start from the understanding of our faults, then we know that there is an ideal. There, there is something that we can shoot toward. There is an archetype that we can attain. But we have to start from the understanding that we are not there. If we start from down here, then we can start to build steps up to get to that thing that we really want to be, right? So not only are we just being disingenuous and harming people by just loving their perfect perfectness, we're halting their growth. We are halting their progression towards perfection because enlightenment is possible. Perfection is possible. And if we tell somebody that they're already perfect, why would they ever want to go up and achieve that stuff? So, if there's anything that I can add to this video, it is maybe that you should be more of an asshole. Maybe you should judge people. Maybe you should look at things from a more realistic perspective. Maybe you should, you know, Tell your kid to stop being an asshole. Maybe you should tell yourself to stop being an asshole. Maybe you should recognize that in loving yourself, a great way to love yourself is to help yourself grow, is to acknowledge your imperfections and not like, these are my imperfections and they're perfect, so it doesn't matter. No, acknowledge your imperfections and say, I don't like these. Me personally, 
Not other people. Fuck other people. Who cares? I love you, but I don't give a shit what you think. We personally have a negative view of these things. Therefore, we want to remove them because logically they are halting us from where we want to. You can't see me here. They are halting us from being where we want to be. So by acknowledging our faults and committing to work on them and acknowledging that I'm kind of dumb and I'm kind of lazy, so I'm not going to be the best at working on them, so I probably shouldn't be too hard on myself. By doing that, isn't that really loving yourself? Isn't that really, if you have a child who doesn't know how to walk, what more loving thing can you do than to help them and nurture them and teach them to walk? And they're going to cry and they're going to be stubborn and they're going to crap themselves and they're going to puke on you and they're going to do all this stuff. But you, but you keep going back. You acknowledge, that's not cool. This all sucks. But I love you. Therefore, I'm going to help you grow. And I know that you, one-year-old infant, six-month-old infant, whatever, you have not got this figured out. And I know for you to be the best you that you can be, I need to acknowledge that and help you to grow. Sweet. That was a good one. Okay. So, does that make sense? I hope it does. Tell me why I'm wrong down there. Whatever. Tell me why Jordan Peterson is a satanic baby eater or whatever. I don't care. Um, but definitely comment that. I mean, I, I really, you, you should tell me why I'm wrong. That's, I, I need to know. I need to know. In the comment section, if you left multiple comments, it, it might be more effective. Um, if you hit the like button a bunch too, that, that would, it would really get my attention. Um, subscribe, that would show me. That would show me. Or a response video and then tag me in it. Oh, that would be good. That would be good. Anyway, I sell a bunch of shit. Um, probably help you grow. You don't want it. You don't want it. But I sell it all and it's old stuff that's been helping people for thousands of years. So if you'd like to try it out. Got astrology, got divination, got talismans, working on doing some spell work kind of stuff. So if you need something, if you want something, if you want to be better, if you want to stay the way you are and just, I don't know, off your cousin. I don't know. Let me, uh, FBI, I, I was joking. I was joking. Totally joking. Um, let me know. I love you guys. Say your mantra, take your vitamins, and stay grateful, y'all. <laughs>